Good morning, everybody, for the first uh, webinar of Lab Robots. Uh, I introduce you, Elizabeth. She will be talking about the diligence uh, shaker. And there is also Laïs Hervé, uh, who can explain a little bit more about uh, the machine. Uh, I propose everybody mute himself and also uh, switch off the camera. If you have questions, you can just switch on the camera and then uh, we will come to you. OK. Elizabeth, the floor is yours. OK, thank you very much. So um, I will share the presentation. OK, so um, so hi, my name is Elizabeth and I have worked more than two years in in lab robot in the quality control laboratory of uh, Diluca. Uh, in this webinar, I will present the benefits of the Diluca system, which is a semi-automatic serial dilution system. I will briefly introduce what the Diluca system is and its components, what it is used for, the applications, how does it work, and all the benefits. So the Diluca system consists of two components, uh, the lookup elegance and a shaker that in this case, I will only just talk about the Julian shaker. The lookup elegance is a ready to use and profile cup with nine milliliters of a sterile diluent. There are three standard diluents, uh, MRD, maximal recovery diluent, sodium chloride, that is salt, and BPW, that is buffer pepton water. The lookup is delivered in blisters of uh, seven precut rows of three or six cups. The Lugian shaker is the newest shaker used with the lookup. It is a programmable device that it can save up to 10 different dilution templates. It has uh, 42 LED lights, one under each cup, that change the color in a way that guides the user during the serial dilution process. This instrument is even capable of saving all the information about the dilutions so that it can be exported to an Excel and trace it from a computer. So what is the DLOOKUP system used for? This system is used by laboratories around the world to make serial dilutions in order to enumerate the microorganisms in a sample. The idea is to take one milliliter of a liquid sample and add it to a first DELOOKUP, shake it and take one milliliter from that DELOOKUP to the next one. This process is repeated until reaching the desired concentration of microorganisms for later plating one ML. The DELOOKUP system is a universal solution for every laboratory that performs decimal dilutions. The current range of available diluents, along with the volume of the cups, usually 9, ml, 9 milliliters, makes it uh, very suitable for the industries like food microbiology, water processing, uh, and industries like bio, paper, and cosmetic. So um, here uh, there's a video that um, it shows how the system works. First, uh, the idea is to place the blister of the lookups on the shaker, of course. And you tear the, the protective film of the lookup, then add one milliliter to the first lookup and shake it by moving your hand in front of the active sensor. You collect one ml and release it into the next cup and like this all the time until you reach the, uh, the final concentration that uh, you want. Here you can see that the color is changing green, orange and red. And that's the idea of guiding. So now I will explain uh, all the benefits of working with DLOOKUP. Um, working with DLOOKUP has many benefits. Um, the ready-to-use cups 
saves a lot of time. Plus, you only need half the time per dilution uh, compared to tubes. It increases the quality and standardizes the dilution process. This is achieved thanks to the low variation between technicians, the precision of the volume, and the warranty of sterility, among others. Um, Dirigent Shaker allows you to track all the information. Um, since it saves all the information in a, yeah, in an Excel fit. It increases efficiency by saving time, preventing work injuries, and with the easy storage. The lookup can be stored up to 30 months at room temperature when the bags are not open. And once the bags are open, then they should be consumed in three months and they, they should be refrigerated. All this makes that uh, the lookup uh, contributes uh, economically good to the to the laboratory and you can save money also. Um, here is a video also about a comparison of uh, how to use the lookup and tubes. So I know, for example, a company that a very company in France that with two people and Dilujan, they did the same work as with three people. And maybe you could, you will see now why. Here in this video, you can see that uh, yeah, uh, it is half the time per dilution per tube. So if you do a lot of dilutions, finally it will be a lot of time that you save. Uh, with the lookup, the results are standardized. Uh, the sterility of the diluent is always guaranteed since the lookup it is produced in a clean room and then is also sterilized by EVIM. The pH is always in the interval of 7 plus minus 0.2, according to ISO 6887. But I will say that they are actually in the interval of 7 plus minus 0.05, always. The recipe of the diluent and the shaking parameters, speed and time, are always the same. With a vortex, it is very difficult to standardize the results. The time and speed are parameters that you cannot control well. I know of a company that depending on the technician, for example, who work in the laboratory, had different results in the enumeration. Uh, in the enumeration. So with the Ruyen, much of the human error was eliminated and this problem was solved. The volume of the lookup is highly accurate and usually it is always in the interval of two milliliters plus minus 12 percentage also according to ISO 6887. In this diagram, for example, you can see um, an, an analysis that I did in 2020 of all the DLOOKUPs manually controlling the CUSA laboratory in LabRobot. Every point represents a DLOOKUP, uh, as I said, manually controlled in the laboratory. The red lines represent the, limited, the limits of deviation of two percentage, that it would be according to ISO, and the one, the the lines that are blue, they are uh, according to LaProvo that it is plus minus one percentage, and here we can see that all the lookups were between minus one and plus one percentage of deviation from nine ml. And if we go further, it I will say that as I wrote here, that ninety one percentage of all the lookups had a volume of 9 milliliters plus minus 0.5 percentage in 2020. So it is highly accurate, it's very good. One of the greatest uh, benefits of the DLOOKUP system is the improved ergonomics when working in the lab. 
The movement is absorbed by the shaker and the user can forget about the vortex. This prevents work injuries like repetitive strain injuries, and it is also very comfortable to use and pipe it. I know a woman that uh, whenever I see her, she always tells me that the lookup literally changed her life and she doesn't have that pain in the wrist anymore. The design of the lookup allows the blisters to be packed in a way that dramatically reduces its footprint. Here it is. Here in this picture, we can see that the lookup needs the half of the space as uh, ordinary tubes. Normally, the tubes they don't come uh, that tight, and this means that in other cases we should be talking about even 70 percentage of space saving. But well, here in this example, it is like yeah, half space that you need uh, compared to the usual dilution tubes. Dilution Shaker is a programmable device with 42 LED lights, one under each cap, uh, that guides the user with three different colors. In this image, you can see that the LED lights that are in the matrix are exactly the same as in the screen, and this makes it very easy to follow the, the guidance. The green caps are the caps to be diluted. The orange ones, the ones that were diluted in the same sample, and the red ones, the caps that were diluted in previous samples. Well, I hope you are, that you are not colorblind and you can see the colors. Otherwise, uh, with the Lujan Shaker Pro, you can fix that problem because you can change the color of the matrix. There are three different versions of a uh, dilution shaker, the light, the standard, and the pro. If you are one of those who like to have more control over the results in the lab, then you will be happy to know that with the dilution shaker, you can trace the dilutions. You can easily export the data in an Excel format to a USB memory, the Ruyen Shaker, Shaker saves the information about the speed, uh, duration, number of dilutions, the sample ID, the dilucap batch number that uh, you can easily obtain by scanning the QR code on the blister, the operator ID, and the time where the dilution was made. And also, it is possible to connect uh, two limbs shaker so they can be very good this is another video because with the region shaker pro you can do parallel working at the same time and this will be also a great benefit for well for saving time in general let me see Well, and finally, as conclusion, um, here I did a, well, a row that the different benefits of the DILUCAP system, as I mentioned, safe time saving, the better control, the traceability that prevent work injuries, less variability, standardization of the results, safe space, among others, this everything leads to safe money. So it contributes possibly positively to the lab economy. So thank you very much for your attention and I will be happy to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you Elizabeth for the presentation. Does anybody have questions for Elizabeth? Go ahead Christina. Hello, Elizabeth. Um, first of all, thank you so much for this presentation. I think it's, it's pretty clear all the benefits and advantages of this innovative system. 
Um, from my side, I have a, a couple of questions that um, I would like you to to share um, with us, if it's possible. Mm. I mean, the first one is, um, if you have to choose um, one feature, what would be your favorite feature of Diligent Shaker? I mean, how has it made uh, your work easier during your experience in the lab? Well, um, the best feature of the Ruin Shaker, I will say that it is the LED lights that guides you. This uh, has helped me many times in the work, many times when you do routine quality control work in the laboratory, you get in a moment that it is everything automatic and you don't think what you are doing. So sometimes it is like you are thinking about something else and your hands are working and this that you do something wrong and it is like, oh, where, 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 where I was in the delusion. But this doesn't happen with the reagent. So I can just look the lights or the in the screen and it's like, OK, I was here so I can follow. Otherwise, I should start from the beginning. So that I would say that it is the greatest advantage and benefit from the Lugian Shaker and the one that it is my favorite. So there's some kind of visual traceability during the, the, the usage of, of, the, of the instrument with the lookups. Exactly. That would be the greatest feature for me. Great. And what about, um, I mean, when you were using the system, there, were, were there any unexpected benefit that um, that you, you discovered? Um, yeah, I will say that the Lugian Shaker, it is uh, very comfortable to use. It is very easy and intuitive. So that was uh, from the beginning, like very good. But then it was very low. So compared to the Shaker, for example, that it is a little bit higher from the same DLUKAP system. To go to the Lugian Shaker, it is literally a better improve because the, the arm doesn't have to be that high. So then I could protect my shoulder. So that was very good. So I would say the ergonomics, like it is very comfortable to use. And of course, compared from, from using Vortex, that will be, uh, uh, it is a huge uh, difference, a huge improvement. Definitely. And um, could you share with us, for example, a case of a company in which Diluca really changed its way of working? Um, yeah. I have in mind um, a company in a milk industry that they, well, they do a lot of dilutions every day from Monday to Sunday. And from Monday to Friday to Thursday, I will say, they, they use dilution tubes and it was quite fine because they have plenty of time. But on Friday and on weekends, they wanted to go early home. So then they started using the lookup on Friday and weekends. And then after one year using this method like this, yes, yeah, on weekends and Friday, the lookup, they realized that they saved so much time. Everything was way better in the laboratory with much more increase in the in deficiency so that they changed literally everything every day to, to the lookup instead. So that I would say that it was. Uh, so it really it helps to optimize the workflow and the organization and the laboratories. Exactly. And since it saves time, you can use that time for doing other things. So it is, uh, it is very optimal. Great. It's pretty really clear to, to, to me. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you, Thea. Does anybody else have some questions? Thea? I have a question. What is um, when it's a when it starts to be beneficial? If you look at smaller labs, what do you? What is the? When would you recommend this delu uh, diligent to be uh, like economically viable for a small laboratory? Yes, because we have. Um, I understand for large volumes, mm -hmm. um, but what is like the minimum that you say if you do about so many samples a day, then this is a viable solution? Well, I don't have an answer for this. I don't know 
how it will be, how much it will be the minimum. But uh, I think that for a small lab, uh, they should need to invest, like for example, in a peristaltic pump or autoclave or some things. So with this, you, you don't need it with the lookup. It is just ready to use. You don't even need to do the quality control. So it can be very beneficial for a small lab ox, including uh, because of that, because you don't need so much material instruments. You don't need to do the quality control. It is just ready to use. So in if you take all the money expend in autoclave and the prestatic boom, everything, and you compare it to the lookup, so then there's there's a difference. And also, if you're a small a small laboratory, you you really need to to use your time efficiency efficient. So uh, with the lookup, you can save your time and 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 go do, doing other things. So I don't have an answer of how minimum how much it should be the minimum, but I have other kind of benefits that I, I see they could work perfectly for a small laboratory also that uh, there are many steps that you skip doing. So I don't know if I have answered your question. I think so. Thank you. Thank Henry, you. you also have a question, I suppose. Hervé, I think I'm, you're still muted. Now I am visible and on, on, no muted. Sorry, I, I, I wanted to complete a bit uh, the, the answer uh, about the minimum volume because uh, it really depends of what kind of lab you, you are dealing with. I remember some cases where we had some very small labs but small labs uh, producing themselves dilution tubes spend a huge time per week for these dilution tubes because producing 1,000 tubes or producing 50 tubes in a way is almost the same uh, in time. That's not true, uh, obviously, but the, the order of magnitude is much bigger if you, you produce small quantities. And then we can look at the, the packaging of the dilute tubes. Today, the packaging is saying that you can, you can uh, use the dilute cup when, the, when, when you have opened the bag in, within three months. And you have uh, 336 cups in a, in a bag. So if you take 336 uh, cups in, in three months, it's approximately 25 dilution per week. So even for, for this small lab, it will be very interesting because they will get everything ready to use. It will be immediately uh, possible to do dilution whenever they want, and they will not uh, throw away product because uh, of the long shelf life. Thank you, Hervé. Christina, do you still have a question? No, it is pretty clear to me. Thank you. Okay, thank you. If there are no further questions, uh, I will thank you, Elizabeth, for the presentation you gave me. Uh, if there are some questions later, we just forward to them. And uh, thank you. Have a nice day. Thank you very much. Bye bye, everybody. Thank Bye. you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you.